Hey guys, here's Mark for another food challenge. Today, I challenge you to do a chili with me. This recipe takes some time to make, but the result is actually amazing. First, we start with the vegetables. Here I got onion, carrots, garlic, and a potato. We could use a knife to cut all this, but I prefer to use a grater. We peel our vegetable. and we pass them through the grater. Next is the meat. Here I got beef, but you could use a ground caribou or even geese. We take the biggest pot we got, put oil in it and set it on the stove at medium heat. Let the pot heat up a bit and drop the ground meat in it. We stir constantly and try to break the ground meat into tiny pieces. When the meat is getting a dark brown color, we add the vegetable and stir a lot for about five minutes. Before adding one can of tomato, and two cups of chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, you can use beef stock, vegetable stock, or even just water. We stir until everything is well mixed. Next is the seasoning. I got one teaspoon each of pepper, paprika, cumin, and two tablespoons of chili powder. If you only have chili powder, it's perfectly fine. We put all that in the pot, stir, and let the chili boil a little bit. When the chili is boiling, we reduce the heat and let it simmer for about one to two hours uncovered at low heat. We want some of the water from the chili to evaporate so that in the end, the texture is like gravy. Remember to stir every 20 minutes so that nothing stick to the bottom. When the texture is how you like it, you can add some black beans if that's something you want in your chili. Just remember to clean the beans before adding them. We don't want the taste from the canned juice. Just before eating, we add some salt to taste. What I do is to put a little bit, taste, and repeat the process until I like it. That's the only secret of cooking, tasting a lot. And Tema, you get your chili. I like to eat my chili with rice, cheese on top, slice of lime, and some avocado. But you do what you want. That's the beauty about chili. Everybody got their special recipe. I think this dish would be very good with some bannock. What do you think? Thank you for watching and take care.